Hi guys, welcome back to another video of Easy Tutorials. Today in this video, we are going to create different kind of hover effect for button. In the first button, you can see it is displaying one arrow icon in the right side. In the second button, it display a background color which is moving down. In the third button, the background gets transparent and there is two border line around the button text. And in the last button, you can see the background gets transparent and the border line is split in two part. So we will make all these four hover effect using HTML and CSS step by step. So keep watching this video till the end. Here in this folder, I have one HTML file, one CSS file. Let me open these files with my code editor, which is Visual Studio Code. You can use any code editor. So this is the HTML file where I have added the basic HTML structure. And this one is the CSS file. Now we will come to the body tag and in this body tag we will create one div with the class name container. And within this container we will add four anchor tag. Write A and uh, here we will add the button text. Hover me. And in all the buttons we will add one class name. So the class name is btn. And let me add one more class name btn1. This is for the first button. Let me duplicate this line. So now we have four links with the class name btn and the other class name is btn1. In the second one we will add two, then third one three and this one is four. After adding this, let's come back to the CSS file and here we will add body and for this body we will change the background color so just add the background and this color code after that we will come back to the folder and open this html file with any web browser so you can see these links at the top we have the four links with the same link text hover me we have to move these links in the center so just come back here we have the class name container. So add this class name here in this CSS file. And for this container, let's add the width. Width will be fit content. Then we will add margin. Margin will be 150 pixel. And left right auto. So you will get the equal space from the left side and right side. Now we will add the CSS for each links. So just come back and here we have the class name btn which is common in all the button. So write the dot btn class name and here we will add the CSS that will be applicable for all the buttons. So we will add the width. It will be 200 pixel and height 60 pixel and color it will be white and background will be black triple zero and we will increase the font size so the font size is 18 pixel text decoration will be none so it will remove the underline and let's add the margin 50 pixel you can see background color is black now just come back and here we will add display flex align item center and justify content center so you can see all these buttons are aligned vertically after adding this we have to add the hover effect on the first button and whenever we will take cursor on the first button it should display one icon to add one icon we will come back to the HTML file and after this button text here we will add one span tag and in this span we will add the hex code for the arrow you can search it on google hex code for arrow and add that code here after adding this come back to the web page you can see one arrow after this text hover me in the first one by default this arrow is visible we have to hide this arrow and it will be visible whenever we will take cursor over this button just come back to the css file and here we will add the CSS for the first button. So just add dot btn1 that is for the first button and here we will add the span. So 
so for this span first we will add a space in the left side margin left 10 pixel so you can see we have a space between the link text and icon next we have to hide this icon so here we will add the width width will be zero so this icon will be hidden right overflow hidden and now we will add the transition transition will be 0.5 seconds like this so you can see this icon is hidden next we have to display this icon whenever we will take cursor over the button so now we will add the hover effect so here we will add dot btn bun hover and span so we have to display this span whenever we will take cursor so just add the width 30 pixels so earlier the width was zero that's why the icon was hidden and when we will take cursor the width will become 30 pixel and the icon will be visible let's check this one and if i take cursor on the first button you can see this icon is visible with a smooth transition next we will add the hover effect on the second button in the second button there will be one color moving down so just come back and here we have the class name btn2 so write this class name here in the css file let's add box shadow here we will add the box shadow 8 pixel 10 pixel and 0 and one color after adding this you can see one color at the bottom of this second button right now this color box is visible by default so we have to shift this color behind the black background and whenever we will take cursor it will move down for that just come back and duplicate this line here we will add hover so after hover it will be visible like this and without hover it will be hidden for that here we will make it 0 and 0 so it will move just behind the black background so it will be hidden whenever we will take cursor it will move right by 8 pixel and down by 10 pixel so it will be visible let's see if i take cursor you can see this color and if i remove this cursor this color is hidden right now this color is displaying immediately so we have to add transition so just come back and here in this button here only we will add the transition let's add the transition 0 0.5 seconds after adding this you can see a smooth movement for this color if i take cursor this color is moving down and if i re remove the cursor it becomes hidden next we will add the hover effect in the third button and in the third button the background will be transparent and there will be two border in this button so just come back and here we will add the class name btn3 in this css file for this btn3 we will add hover and when we will take cursor the background will become transparent like this and we will add the border of two pixel solid and triple zero which is black color then we will change the color color will be black and margin top it will be five pixels after adding this come back to the web page if i take cursor on the third button you can see the background become transparent and you can see the border around this button which is in the black color next we have to add one more border on this button and that border will be moving for that let's come back and here in this btn we will add the position relative after adding this position relative write btn3 double colon after we are adding one serial element here we will add the content content will be empty then width will be 100 percent and height also 100 percent and let's add the border of 
टू पिक्सल सॉलिड एंड ब्लैक कलर पोजिशन विल बी एप्सोलूट एंड टॉप जीरो लेफ्ट जीरो सो इट विल बी एट द सेम पोजिशन दैट इज द पोजिशन ऑफ बटन देन वी विल एट द बॉक्स साइजिंग बॉक्स साइजिंग विल बी बॉर्डर बॉक्स एंड ट्रांजिशन इट विल बी टॉप पॉइंट फाइव सेकेंड्स एंड लेफ्ट ऑल्सो पॉइंट फाइव सेकेंड्स एंड हेयर वी विल एड डॉट बी टी एन थ्री ओवर एंड आफ्टर लेट्स एड टॉप फाइव पिक्सल इट विल मूव द आफ्टर एलिमेंट बाई फाइव पिक्सल एंड लेफ्ट ऑल्सो फाइव पिक्सल बॉक्स साइजिंग it will be content box now you can see this second border is moving down this hover me text should also move down so let's come back and uh, here we have added margin top we will make it padding top after that if i take cursor you can see this hover me text is also moving by 5 pixel so this third button animation is also looking good next we will add the hover effect on the fourth button in the fourth button we will add two pseudo element using before and after so let's come back to the css file and here we will add dot btn4 then hover after hover we will change the background background will be transparent and color black here we will add dot btn4 then before and here we will add dot btn4 after we are adding css for before and after pseudo element right content it will be empty then width 100% and uh, height 100% position will be absolute let's copy it from here top zero left zero box sizing and transition like this and here we will add one more thing z index minus 1 after that we have to add the border for the before and after element so let's add dot btn4 before in this before we will add the border from the left side to pixel solid and black duplicate this line here we will add the border from top now duplicate this line and here we will add after make it as border right and this is border bottom after adding this come back to the web page if i take cursor you can see we have the transparent background and one border next we have to move this border in the left side and right side so just come back let's add dot btn4 hover before so this before element will move left side and top so right top minus 5 pixel so it will move up by 5 pixel and left minus 15 pixel it will move left by 15 pixel duplicate this line and here we will add after and it will be top 5 pixel and left 15 pixel that's it after adding this if i take cursor now these borders are moving in 
different direction and it is looking very good. So finally we have added different type of hove effect on all four buttons. I hope this video will be helpful for you. If you have any question you can ask me in the comment section. Please like and share this video and also subscribe my channel easy tutorials to watch more videos like this one. Thank you so much for watching this video.